the topic for today is condylectomy now where are we doing this procedure so it is done in the case of temporomandibular joint ankylosis so ankylosis it is a greek word which means stiff joint so it is the fusion of the mandibular condyle with the glenoid fossa and by that it obliterates the normal articulation and by that it immobilizes the mandible and all the jaw functions they are limited now in this also deviation it is seen on the affected side the reasons for ankylosis can be trauma infection or in arthritis so there are three major types of ankylosis that is fibrous fibro osseous or bony the surgical options for treating this ankylosis is high condylectomy gap arthroplasty and interpositional arthroplasty so in this video we are going to see about one of that treatment option that is high condylectomy now it is the resection of only the upper part of the condylar head and it is indicated in the case of fibrous ankylosis where the articular space it is not completely eliminated and where there is no deformity as such of the condylar head also the various indications are it can be done in the case of various type of arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis severe arthrosis or in the malunited condylar fracture with limitation of motion and pain during mastication now next we are going to see about the technique of condylectomy so first in the procedure you are going to make an incision that is the pre auricular incision the incision which is made in front of the auricle that is the ear so it is done to expose the condyle now there are different types of pre auricular incision like dingman blair thoma one of the most commonly used incision that is the alkayath and bramley's incision so first step is you are going to make an incision next is you will make a horizontal cut with the help of surgical burr at the level of the condylar neck in which you are going to preserve the vital structures on the medial side by using special retractors and the condylar head it should be separated from the ramus carefully and also from the superior attachment now this superior attachment it is not that firm and it may be detached and entire head of the condyle it is separated and it is removed and also you are going to break the fibrous adhesions now as we have said in the indication it is used in the fibrous ankylosis the next step will be now the stump of the condyle at the neck it is smoothened and by this new joint is created here lastly you are going to like suture that wound so the wounds they are closed in layers so first you are going to suture the capsule and then the final skin suturing is done so this is about the technique now what are the complications which are associated with this technique first is now if you are doing unilateral condylectomy that is only on the one side so that tends to cause deviation of the mandible towards the same side on opening now if it is on both the sides that is in bilateral condylectomy anterior open bite it is seen as a result of loss of height in vertical rami so that was about the condylectomy thank you so much